Welcome back to another episode here at the Partridge House. My name is Jeff. I'm the guy that does things around here at the Homestead. For those of you that are new to the channel, uh, for those of you that have been with us for a while, welcome back. It's, it's great to see you guys again. So this week, or weeks, or however long this video winds up being, uh, we are focusing on getting ready for the plumbers and starting to tackle some of the more finished aspects of the house. So maybe getting that feature wall done in the master. Uh, we might be starting some of the built-ins in the kitchen. And hopefully, if all the plumbing gets finished and we get that little bit of HVAC work, we're need done done, need done finished, whatever, um, we can get moving on to actually putting the rest of this kitchen in. So we've taken care of a lot of the kind of base foundational prep stuff, all the painting's been done, or the vast majority of painting has been done. And now it's time to move on to the actual fun things, the fun things you'll see in the finished reno. And that's the stuff I really love doing. So in order to actually start getting ready for the plumbers, uh, we need to demo everything you see here in this bathroom. And I mean, there's not really that much to demo. It's take out a shower, a vanity, and a toilet. Um, yeah, it's not like we're taking this down to studs or anything. But... sense that not everything is kind of chronological and it, we just had a lot of balls in the air over the last couple weeks with a lot of stuff going on. So one of the big things that we did get done is the plumbing is totally finished now. So if you see behind me here, I'm going to switch hands, you can see we got the new stack in place over there, got new drains into the main drain here, new kitchen drain in, uh, we got a new toilet uh, or closet flange depending on what part of the world you're in. It's installed and ready to go. The tub down there is sitting in, our plumbing for the tub is all hooked up. You know, really, we've gone over all of the plumbing in this house with kind of a fine tooth and comb and fine, fine tooth and comb? Fine tooth comb. That makes more sense. Fine tooth comb. Uh, and it looks really good and, you know, no leaks, no problems. And that's what we like to hand off to the next homeowner is just a problem-free house. One of the other projects we got finished up in the last couple weeks was this master feature wall. Um, or master accent wall. Did you call it a master feature wall or a master accent wall? Let me know. Um, I, see, I seem to always call it a feature wall, but it is kind of an accent wall. Anyways, the master feature accent wall is now finished up. Uh, I'm not going to go into step-by-step de -step detail about how we went about building that. You can see that up in a link in the corner. Uh, but what I will do is kind of do a quick time lapse of how it all came together and how we finished up this project.
you probably also noticed while we were building that feature wall that the floors were finished. Uh, and you're correct, this is something we also tackled while we are waiting for the plumbers to come in and get that work done. Now we don't typically finish the floors this early in a process, but they were stacked in the living room, stacked in the bedrooms, and we figured we might as well get them out of the way and laid. All we did then was stick down ram board to keep them protected while the plumbers were doing their work. before the plumbers come in, which is three days away. So one of the things we've moved on to starting to tackle is the built-ins in the living room that you see here behind me. Now it's no secret that I like using IKEA products and I especially like making IKEA hacks or coming up with IKEA hacks. So in this case, we've gone ahead and bought two standard Billy bookcases. So just the standard wide, wider width, I think they're about 30 inches. And we did buy the extensions to go on top of them as well, just to lift them up a little bit closer to the ceiling height. So we have about eight foot ceilings in here, and that puts us within three or four inches of the top. We picked up the doors that are normally meant for the short billy, but they were great for kind of creating a lower half closed in area, which is awesome for kind of storage of board games or cards or, or things you don't really want to be out in the open in your living room. And then what we're gonna do is kind of make this whole area behind me look built in. So we're gonna start by creating a bench in the middle to kind of create a little bit of a library nook, somewhere to sit and hang out and read or just extra seating during entertainment. And then we're gonna trim out the top to kind of give the whole unit one cohesive look. And by trimming out the top, I mean sort of creating a, a soffit or a bulkhead all the way tying in one side to the other, to the ceiling, to the walls, so that it looks like one whole cohesive unit.
everything moved over and roughly fitted in our spot along this wall. And what I'm doing now is just going ahead and filling all of my pocket holes with these special little angled dowels. So all we do is shove a little bit of glue. Well, my glue is at still a tad bit off. I don't really know what happened to it. But you just gotta shove a little bit of glue in each of the pocket holes, shove one of these dowels in, give it a little bit of a smack to make sure it's in good. And then we can let all that dry, we can sand everything down and move on to priming. That's a wrap. Uh, another video here down at the Partridge House. Uh, things are moving along really good. I'm happy with the progress we've made over the last couple weeks. Like I said, the big thing was getting that plumbing finished up and that is done. Next week we're moving on to the kitchen, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. Click that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon, that way you guys get notifications, but you already know what to do. And we're going to end it there, so we'll see you in the next one.